Royal Caribbean International's Voyager of the Seas, returning to its home port of Galveston, was caught in a storm on the final day of a five-day Western Caribbean cruise. On the last day of the cruise, a severe storm developed in the Gulf of Mexico. The rain quickly intensified to the point where all outside decks were closed off by the ship's crew. Hail pounded on windows, 80 mile an hour winds blew furniture across balconies, and choppy waves reached at least the fourth deck. Shays lounges tied together on deck 11 flew around, making a mess. But the situation took a frightening turn when the ship tilted sharply at nine degrees as the captain tried to steer it out of the storm. Glasses in the bar, liquor bottles flying off shelves and shattering, heavy slot machines overturned in the casino, shelves overturned and collapsed in the liquor store. The perfume shop and the art gallery were also damaged. Restaurants had broken dishes and glasses and were closed for a while to clean up. The worst damage was in the casino where many slot machines fell, some on more than one person. Water was everywhere on the inside decks and in the staterooms. The intensity of the storm decreased after two and a half hours, but it was still raging. Passengers on board took to social media to share details and footage of the devastation caused by the storm. Guests reported that the storm caused flooding in some staterooms and public areas. There was a huge mess and many people were in shock. Through it all, the ship's tireless crew worked nonstop to ensure the safety of the passengers. They had a difficult job, but they fought through the terrible conditions and did their best to take care of their passengers, control the flooding indoors, and keep the ship in order. Liner crews do not have the opportunity to relax with their passengers on the job, and in times like these, their hard work is even more evident. The passengers, for their part, thanked the crew after the incident. The ship itself was built in Finland and launched on November 27, 1998, christened Voyager of the Seas, on November 20th of the following year, and set out on its maiden voyage the following day. At the time of her maiden voyage, she was the largest sea liner in the world, although she was overtaken the following year by a very similar ship the Explorer of the Seas. The liner has a total length of 311 meters, a width of 37 meters at the waterline, and a height of 63 meters. Voyager of the Seas has been called a floating hotel because of its wide range of services, many of which were first offered on ocean-going passenger ships at the time of construction. For example, the first climbing wall was installed on the tube. It was also the first time that a skating rink was installed on the liner, and it was also adapted for the performance of shows. During the first few weeks of operation, the rink experienced a number of problems, e.g. ice cracking due to the ship's instability and hot ventilation pipes on the lower deck, but these were soon resolved. From then on, ice rinks were installed on all later liners of this class. In September 2019, Voyager of the Seas underwent a $97 million refit, which included the addition of 72 passenger staterooms. The ship can accommodate 3,600 passengers in double occupancy and a maximum of 4,000 passengers. It is ideal for families with entertainment designed for children as young as six months old. However, this versatile ship offers entertainment for cruisers of all ages. The many sun decks and swimming pools provide a fun time while relaxing on one of the many lounge chairs on the upper decks or in the tranquil surroundings of the spa or fitness center.